Hi guys, welcome back to the bench. And we're not talking cameras today. That seems to be a common thing, oh, common thing to start videos with now. We're talking about guns and none other than the new Tokimurui Saiga 12 SBS. Now this was dropped off to me by James, you may have seen it in his Instagram story. Because he bought one of these on the plans to use it um, and figured out that you know, compared to what people were finding with the full size Saigas, saying that they could hop a certain BB to a certain distance, um, this shorter version, the SBS, just wasn't hitting the same performance marks. Um, so he was questioning the if they changed anything since the original Saiga 12. I haven't played with the original Saiga 12 because no one sent me one yet, but. The SBS, I said, we'd look into it. We did a little bit. He was filming while he dropped it off to me, and I was having a look. And it looks like they've used a weaker spring in the nozzle system. Um, and I said I'd take a look and see what we could find. But while it's here, I'll be able to show you guys the ins and outs of the Saiga 12 SBS from Toki Marui. Now, this is a gas shotgun. It can shoot semi and full automatic um, compared to the... Full size Saiga, which could shoot full automatic if you held the select switch in a specific place, but it didn't sort of ship as a, a you know a fully automatic shotgun. It was sold as a semi-automatic. So the SBS standing for short barreled shotgun. It shoots three BBs every time. It's got a fixed hop system. It uses the stonky mags. Now this is the shorter one that comes with the Saiga 12. The SBS mag is actually you know much much longer, but the mag you dropped it off with was one of these. So we're going to test it today, see what we get on the chrono. He said he was getting about 0.75 joules, so we're going to have a go with that and see what we get. He was testing with 0.25s. Um, just, I'm curious as well, I'm going to see what it does with 0.3s. Um, so let's get this thing filled up here. And you'll see here, I'm using the Jaeger Precision Propane Adapter. So let's make sure this is full. I think it is full. So I've already filled it up. Uh, so full on gas. You can pop the mags out pretty damn easy by pressing this button on the back here. And you can slide the inner mechanism out like that. You've got two chambers, one for your gas and then this section at the front for the BBs. It's got a very similar system to most other gas blowbacks. You know, as it's empty, it blocks the valve from being fired by the firing pin. I think these are like a 45 round magazine, so you get like 15 shots with three BBs a shot, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. The bigger mags, obviously, I think they hold 90. So we'll have a play with this thing. And we'll also be showing you some modifications you can do to the mags and such. So let's fill this thing up with BBs. One thing I do like about this Saiga 12 system from Marui is, you know, the non- because the, the loading's all done inside the shotgun, you don't have like a pickup, like a normal gas blowback. So you can just fill them like a normal mid cap. So you just take your speed loader. And we just fill them up until it's full like that. There we go. So we're gonna send around through this chrono. The one thing that I did witness with this, and James was here when I was playing with it, is I filled the magazine up with propane. I know it was full. I mean, yes, they do have a long tube in here, and we're going to do a video on how to mod that. But filling it up on propane, um, I was only getting about 10 or 12 shots out before it was it was empty. Um, I don't know if that's because it was unloaded. I said that could be a thing, so we're going to give it a go. So we rock the magazine in here. It goes in nice and softly compared to the AKM. Rack it back, and we should have three BBs in there. I'm just going to test it. Yep, and let's see what we're coming out at. This chrono does struggle sometimes, so we might get different readings. So 0.8 joules, 0 0.67, 0 0.7, 0 0.69. 0 0.67, 0 0.64, 0 0.64, 0 0.59, 0 0.57, 0 0.68, 0 0.69, 0 0.69, 0 0.69, 0 0.69, 0 0.69, 0 0.69, 0 0.69, 0 0.69, 0 
0.55 so we're starting to decrease now and uh, yeah it just didn't really seem that efficient now the propane tank that I am using isn't you know full but it did fill till the gas spit out the top so we're already at half a joule at 10 shots in we are struggling now 0.34 0 0.51 0 0.18 joules um, so this thing is struggling and we're empty there so yeah these you know predictions are correct I think what a lot of people were saying they were getting about a joule um, out of the full size Saiga I think what they've probably done is changed something in the nozzle um, mainly the spring uh, to limit the amount of gas coming through because I imagine with obviously you know the Japanese market they may have been getting a bit of jewel creep I'm not too sure what's changed but they've definitely changed something the last shot there at 0.18 joules on a 0.3 so let's have a quick look at this thing it's very much like the AKM we do have a button that you have to press here so you can't just accidentally knock the top cover off slide that off there we can pull the recoil spring out and we can slide the bolt out you'll see it has hardly any piston on the front there because it is a short barrel we've got this huge nozzle as you'll see here and yeah very reminiscent of an, a an AK um, we'll probably delve more into pulling the barrels and stuff apart, seeing if we can mod them for extra hop. Um, which will probably put, come up in the, the subsequent videos. What is interesting on this is they went for a side folder with an M4 stock and an M4 grip. So, you know, real steel grips, M4, AR15 style grips should fit. Um, I think he wants to eventually modify this to have just like a, you know, a, a sling point on the back and run it with no stock. I'm not a huge fan of this grip, uh, this front handguard here. It's very bulky. I imagine you could thin it down if you wanted to. I kind of liked the uh, the full size Saiga handguard, which is nice and slim. But what do you think of this SBS? So yeah, just my quick observations on this thing. It's not very efficient on gas. Um, there's a lot of people that have asked, you know, if I'll be doing a build series on a Saiga 12. And I did get excited for it before release, but then as it released, I just found that as cool as it is, it's it's limited by what kind of field rules you have. So, you know, this thing would be absolutely dominant in CQB, but, you know, anywhere in CQB would not let you run a full auto shotgun. So the only place you can run a full auto shotgun is outdoors. Which is again is at distances where you probably wouldn't be using a shotgun. Um, the AA12 was probably a little bit usable in the the other one that they did. I can't quite remember the name of it. SGR12 because it was electric and you could just put round after round down. Where with the gas you can't do that. You've got 15 shots. So very potent. I imagine it would be in CQB and the short barrel would be potent in CQB as well. It's semi-auto. Um, I just I don't think the full auto on this replica. I just don't think it's it's relevant. Um, you know, if you guys are least watching this video, you tell me down below where there's a site, an airsoft site that allows you to shoot full auto in CQB, as cool as it would be. Um, most sites don't allow that, and most sites definitely probably wouldn't allow you to run a full auto shotgun. But I think with a shotgun as well, semi-auto shotguns, I fully understand. Um, I just, even though it's a cool, fun switch, I just think the, the feature's kind of irrelevant for UK fields especially. Um, again, if you're out in Woodland where you could use the full auto capabilities of this, you know, I can guarantee you, I will go as far to say to that, I can guarantee you that the AKM would outperform it. It just would. My AKM is so precise, I can hop anything up to a 4.8. You know, anything I point it at, usually I can hit up to sort of like 60, 70 meters. The AKM is just absolutely phenomenal. 
and this a fun gimmick as it is and this is after it released you know i kind of analyzed my choice in buying one and i was like it just doesn't really make any sense so that's the tokimari saiga 12 sbs cool item for sure um you know you can make it super short and it's got it's you know i'm all for more replicas in the airsoft world um it gives us more choice so i'm not saying you shouldn't buy one i'm just saying for me personally the platform doesn't make sense but we're going to go over some mods this we're going to see if we can get a bit more power out of it because you know 0 0.6 0 0.7 joules we need a bit more than that and of course we're going to see if we can get this magazine to take a bit more gas because in all my testing with this thing it's just so gas inefficient um I'm not sure what it compares to with the, the full size Saiga, but this thing is, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, like you say, I filled it up with fully with propane and I'm lucky to get 15 shots out of it at least. Um, just gonna fill it up again here. And you can hear this. And there it is, it's spitting the gas so it's full. This is a stock unmodded magazine. Nothing's happened to it. This is fresh out the packet. So it's filled up on propane. We're gonna set the empty mag switch so it, it can fire on empty. Fully gas mag on propane. My AKM would do like 100 plus shots easy. Probably that on full auto as well. So we're going to count. This is on semi-auto only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, now it's just showing me up. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. These are hardly functioning now. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I'm not even sure this would load right now. 39, 41, and yeah. So I'm quite shocked there i don't know whether something has settled in the rifle now and james will attest to this that when we tested it he sat in front of me and i charged this magazine magazine up with propane and after 10 shots it just spluttered like that at the end and i was like well i can't understand what's going on with this the, the magazine's full of gas so perhaps it just needed a bit of running in i'll give it the shadow of the, the benefit of the doubt sorry not the shadow of the doubt, benefit of the doubt um we'll charge it up again while it's cold Again, you'll be able to see this. There we go. Coming very soon, guys. It's just, it's a funny thing with uh, CNC stuff. You know, it's not a cheap thing to do. So as soon as I can uh, fund the production run on the propane adapters, I'll be doing it because I don't want to make a small batch. I want to make a quite large batch. So... Top that up again for our next round of testing. Um, what do you think of the SPS? Let me know down in the comments below. The subsequent videos coming up will be where I'm looking at the nozzle and, of course, the magazine. We're going to mod that to take more gas. Thanks for tuning in, as always, and from me and from Bench, more importantly, we'll see you in the next video.